Elastic waistbands are comfy, but sometimes they don't look so flattering with the gathered up elastic in the front. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make an elastic waistband that's only half elastic. That's right. I'm sure you've seen it in the store. The back is only elastic, but not the front. The front is going to be flat and flattering. Whether you're making pants, shorts, a skirt, or a dress, you can apply this technique to it. This technique will work with any width of elastic. I'm going to be using this chunky three inch wide elastic today. Also for this technique, you can gather your back waistband from side seam to side seam. You could do just a few inches at center back, or you could do most of your back. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do about a nine inch piece of elastic that we're gonna gather up for the waistband. So today for demo, this pink polka dot here is going to be my waistband. So this smaller piece is going to be the back that we're gathering up for elastic. And we're going to make this piece here that's bigger, the front piece that's nice and flat. You're going to need two pieces of fabric for this, one for the elastic and one that's going to be flat for the front. You also need to make sure that your fabric is twice as big as your elastic plus seam allowance. So I've ironed my waistband in half so I know right where the top of it is so I know where to place my elastic. I also have my front waistband folded in half. The first part is going to be sewing down the elastic on the inside of the waistband for the elastic section. So I've opened up my waistband and I'm going to place my elastic at the crease. And I want to make sure it's all the way over to one side. And now I'm going to use a straight stitch and just sew down the elastic on this side. And then I'm going to take my fabric, still line up the elastic with the crease at the top. And then I'm going to sew my elastic down on the other side. So I'm just going to be using a straight stitch on this, back stitching at the bottom and the top. So we've got one side done, looking good. And now we're going to flip over to the other side, just lining up the top of that elastic with that crease that's there that I ironed. And now we're going to sew down this as well. Back stitch and cut. Once you have your elastic sewn into the piece, it should look something like this. It's sewn on the inside of the waistband and it's connected to the right and the left side. So now what we're going to do is stretch out the elastic and we're going to put all these rows of stitching in the elastic. And then when we're done, it's going to evenly gather up the fabric onto the elastic. So before we stretch and sew, we're going to make sure our wrong sides are together. And I just want to sew the side together all the way up through all the layers. And I'm going to do this to both sides, just making sure the elastic is nice and secure to both sides. Now you could have done this first in one step, but I wanted to show you exactly what we were doing. So once you get used to this, you can go ahead and just do this step first. Stretching it can be a little bit tricky. So if you have a needle down button, make sure you engage that. Back stitch at the beginning. And you're gonna stretch this while you sew. So yes, you could pre-pin this or you can go ahead and hold it and stretch it as you sew. Or you can hold a little bit at a time, make sure that elastic is up at that crease when you do this. So we're going to stretch and sew. Stretch and sew. Stretch and sew. And now we're getting close to the end. So we're going to stretch it and sew it down. And cut. The first row of stitches is always the trickiest. It gets a little easier after that. So you'll notice we got that row of stitches in there and now it's starting to create that gathering over the elastic. So now we're just going to keep creating lines of stitches down our piece of elastic. You could do two or three. You could do a bunch real close. I'm going to line mine up about three quarters of an inch away from each other and just cover my piece of three inch elastic. Just make sure you're stretching and sewing while you do this. There we go. We got two rows in there. Now we're going to do another one. So 
So now you can see it is nice and gathered up and it's still nice and stretchy. Now we need to attach it to the flat piece of the waistband. So we're gonna open up our waistband so the right side is face up and now we're going to take the top of our gathered piece and line it up with the crease. And now we're going to take the waistband and fold it down. We can go ahead and put some pins in this side. And now we're going to sew this down with our half inch seam allowance or whatever seam allowance you're using for your project. We're going to back stitch at the beginning. We're going to work our way all the way down. We're going to back stitch at the end and cut. Let's take a look at what we just did and we're almost done. So we have everything sandwiched in here right now and we got that seam that we just performed and now we are going to open this up and now check that out. We've got the flat piece of the waistband sewn to the elastic piece. So now what we need to do is the same thing to the other side and then you've got your waistband with elastic just in the back. Now we're gonna open up the flat waistband with the right side face up, take the other side of the gathered up elastic piece, right side face in, line up the top of the elastic with the crease in the waistband. Fold the other half of the waistband over and we're going to pin this shut. And now we're gonna sew from the top to the bottom with our half inch seam allowance. Don't forget to back stitch at the beginning and the end of this. Now you can see we've got that gathered elastic at the back, but we have a nice flat waistband in the front. Wasn't that easy? This is such an easy elastic technique. So now this is ready to sew into your shorts, your skirt, your pants, whatever it is you're creating. Um, and I left like an extra inch and a half seam allowance down here just so it's a little easier to show you. So you could chop some of that off or just know that that's in your seam allowance or maybe you're making a really wide waistband for something. So we've got our front nice and flat, and we've got the back that has the gathered piece of elastic up on the back waist. So you can see we have that gathered up elastic in the waistband just on the back, but not on the front. So we have our nice flat fabric here and then just the gather in the back. Thanks so much for watching So Anna Stages today. I hope you had fun creating and learning how to create a half elastic waistband. If you have any questions about it, leave it down below in the comments. And I'll get back with you as soon as I can. If you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. I would love to know when you guys are going to use this technique, so leave that down below in the comments too. And if you have a special video you want to see, leave that down below in the comments too. Also, if you want to come take classes with me in Chicago, you totally can in my design studio back here. You can find info about that at SewAnastasia.com. And coming soon is the Online Sewing Academy, so keep an eye out for that as well. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.